A new type of swine flu that could infect humans has been discovered by Chinese researchers. The new strain is genetically similar to the previous H1N1 swine flu that caused a pandemic in 2009. Researchers have called this new one G4 virus and they've cautioned that although it does not pose an immediate global health threat, it should be viewed as a candidate for another pandemic. Well, Professor James Wood is the head of the veterinary school at Cambridge University and he joins us now from the UK. Thank you very much for speaking to us. So this new virus that's been identified, how is it transmitted and who is most at risk of getting it? So this is mostly transmitted between pigs, um, it's a swine flu virus, but it's clear from the data that have come from the Chinese scientists that some pig farmers are also getting infected and there are a handful of cases where there's been severe disease in uh, children uh, in households neighbouring pig farms. What's the assessment then of how dangerous this virus is to humans if they transmit it? Well, at the moment, I think that the evidence is pretty clear that it's not transmitting easily between humans. And that's the, the most important measure of whether or not a, a virus will transmit through the human population. Um, but what is also clear is that the virus, as it's been evolving over the last few years in pigs in China, is growing in its ability to transmit to humans. So this is something that needs very careful monitoring by, um, but by influenza scientists in China in the, and the World Health Organization. Of course, there is huge urgency to try and identify any potential dangerous outbreaks. How difficult is it, though, to try and predict which sort of next wildlife-derived virus could cause huge harm? That's a really good question, and, uh, and it's, it's a great challenge. For flu, we've been looking at this for decades. There's been a huge international investment, and even now we're not very good at predicting what the next flu virus um, uh, that, that emerges in any population, be it pigs or humans. Um, that makes it even harder when we think about the number of different species of wildlife that exist around the world and that the millions of different viruses that can, uh, tr could potentially transmit to humans. So, so we, this is where surveillance and ongoing monitoring of, uh, of populations is really important for us to continue to invest, invest far, far greater amounts of uh, resource into. Thank you very much, Professor James Wood, head of the veterinary school at Cambridge University, speaking to us in the UK.